Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Polybridge 3 where you guys have gone absolutely mad for the world famous wheel. Yes, it's the wheel of bridge tune. So we will be spinning this wheel up and wherever it stops will be the real bridge I'll be recreating in Polybridge. But of course, you don't actually get to see what bridge it is because you have to guess. And if you guess correctly, you get engineering points, which I'm sure you can spend in my merch store, realcivilengineer.com. Anyway, for this one, we're going to be showing an older bridge that was replaced by a newer bridge. Uh, I will build both of them and you guys can decide which one you prefer. But basically, I think we'll start with a 20 meter span. These are a little bit lower. All right, and basically this was built in the 50s, uh, but it was replaced because obviously traffic demand has grown and basically this bridge just couldn't do what it was designed to do initially. But yeah, for the main span of this, I'm going to need lots of little tiny roads, little baby roads, as you might say. And then this is actually a cantilevered bridge. So that's the midpoint. So if we go from this pillar with a foundation and we got these 45 degree nodes like that then these connect up to that now basically there's, there's actually loads of little little baby triangles a baby truss and then from there we connect up to that boosh so we then do the same over here so we end up with something like that i need to actually think about how how the roof of this one goes on so I, mean, I can only stretch that to there so maybe that's as tall as i can go for the middle piece Although actually, no, 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 looking at this, that does connect like that, which means I can raise this up. Okay, if we grab my curve tool, we want to go from there up to there and curve it sort of, sort of like that. It actually looks like these triangles change size along this. So, right, then I just do vertical pieces between all of these and we end up with something like that. So if I then copy this and mirror like that, then you can sort of see this should be balanced about this middle point. If I then just copy this to the other side, realize my span isn't long enough. Always need a bigger bridge mat. You always need one. Then I think that looks pretty good. The question is, will it hold? I don't know. Let's press play. Oh, it does. It does. And it holds the car. Lovely. Uh, you will notice though, there's there's no cross beams. We can't be having that. So give me a second. Yes, these are just visual, but what are you going to do? Oh, actually, actually, I've just realized the car's... Oh, the car smashed into it. Final destination if ever I've seen one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this car and I can actually scale this down if I use this slider. So now we've got a tiny car. So if I press play, oh, it does actually hit it. It spins it around. But yeah, I can then copy these all the way along here because these are basically the cross beams for the bridge. So yeah, some of you may call this architecture, but I'm pretty sure it's doing a job just in a third dimension that you can't see in Body Bridge. But for engineering accuracy, I'm still including it. So yeah, I've slowed down the car just so we can see this for a bit longer. But uh, this is comparing it to the original bridge. You can see it looks pretty good. Uh, pretty similar in my opinion. If we turn on the stress and then like the original, we up the amount of traffic. Um, I should probably... Let's lower the scale of that as well. That is going to be way too tall. Ow, my bridge. No, you knob. Why would you do that? All right, I need, I need low cars duplicate these. So these are all the different amounts of traffic. But yeah, we should see as as more and more traffic gets put on this bridge. Ooh, can you see the stress? Some of these are going very yellow, particularly in the middle. Oh, look at the stress there. And there we go. So if we slow this right down, you'll see why this bridge needed to be replaced. There was too much traffic for the cantilever beams to handle. And all oh, the middle supports just get annihilated. Uh, this was actually replaced before it collapsed, by the way. They actually used um, explosives to collapse it. But the new bridge gets rid of this completely. And basically swaps all of that steel in favor of our friend, the cable. So I think to make this somewhat accurate, I'm going to lose those foundations. But shove them back in, like down at the bottom. We're then going to come into the bridge tab. We're going to build a pillar out of steel, which is basically going to be made out of these box sections. Now, this is just to represent like 
single a single piece, which you can't really do in poly bridge very well. But I like some of my favorite bridges in this game. This is cable stayed, which means I've just got to do cables from this pillar down to each road section. And like the previous bridge, this will also work in a cantilever, which basically means, can you see I've got this pivot point at the bottom? As I add more bridge to like one side, this pillar will be trying to like lean left. So if I were to just do like those down to there, because there's more, there's more weight on this side than that side, when we press play, this just falls over to the left. Hence, it's called cable stayed because the, the cables make it stay in place. But we basically do that to the middle. I can then copy this over to the other side. And then we should see when we press play, it is holding. Now, all this, all this traffic, it may not work in this game. Although stress is quite low at the moment. Oh, man, look how rickety it is. Look how rickety it is. I was about to say, but it is working. Um, Yeah, about that, about that. Now, in a real bridge, all these movements would be, like, so minute. You wouldn't actually see them. It was those up there. They just got crushed. I mean, I probably could add extra steel just to shore this up. Yeah, so, yeah, I've gone, I've gone a bit to town reinforcing that. But I'm just trying to make it look more realistic. And then, hopefully, with all this traffic on, it... No. Oh, it still gets annihilated. I mean, there's one more very clever engineering thing I can do, and that is apply a weight limit to all vehicles entering the bridge. They're completely ignoring the, the reason for putting this bridge in in the first place. But yeah, you can see now the bridge is a lot less rickety, and it does finally work. So we've we've made a bridge that increases all the traffic. A lovely modern cable stayed bridge. Yeah, and this one's slightly harder to make look realistic. If you look at the real one, there we go. This is called the Tappan Z Bridge, uh, which you probably wouldn't expect. It's actually in the USA. You can see I wasn't quite able to lean pillars because in this game, like the, the front and back, they have to be symmetrical. Uh, hence why a lot of like the diamond cable stayed ones and stuff I can't really do in this game, which is a shame. But yeah, prove to you, cable stayed definitely better than the steel cantilevered. Uh, just ignore the fact that all the vehicles now weigh as much as like a paper version. Uh, and I mean, to be honest, this is actually quite similar to what happened in real life. There was actually like apparently this like huge conspiracy, although not actually for this bridge, for the original bridge. Uh, but basically like all the bolts started to weaken on it and uh, it needed to be demolished. Initially, it was thought it could be left open. But yeah, corruption and drama, all that sort of stuff, it doesn't just happen in politics. It happens in bridge building as well, which I guess technically is politics because without politics, you wouldn't have budget to build a bridge in the first place. Anyway, let's go on to the next one. Anyway, thank you whoever nominated that bridge. Remember, if you want your bridge added to the Wheel of Bridge tune, then uh, be sure to leave a comment below. But for now, let's give it a spin and then you guys can't see what it lands on. All right, okay, for this next bridge, we're heading to Norway. I don't think I've done any Norwegian bridges yet. Uh, but this one is actually pretty cool. It's a hybrid bridge. Uh, so it has some cable stayed features. And basically, like, you start low on one side and you end up high on the other side. Drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. Um, and because it's, it's in Norway, we're doing the, the glacier theme. Uh, not sure if there are penguins in Norway. I'm, I'm sure there's snowmen though, right? Anyway, I'm going to do what I did before. I'm going to do small little sections of road. So basically, we'll just copy all of those. And because this bit is cable stayed, I need to sort of mirror this fairly evenly. All right, so something like that. We've got a 24 meter span. We're quite scaled up, remember. We've got 45 degrees to the top. So from this point, I need to add my curve in. So we're going to go down to there, but I need to... Click this little padlock here to unlock tangents, which means I can then make that line horizontal with that grid. This one horizontal with up here. And then if I switch to road and say number of pieces, reduce them down, then that's nice and smooth. So when I push down to there, look at that. I mean, yeah, this is a hybrid. So we've got cable stayed on the right hand side. On the left, as this like drops down, this is actually a pontoon bridge. So our bridge will actually be floating on the water type thing. And yeah, it floats on 10 pontoons. So this floating bit will like, it's actually a bit longer than just the, just the curvy bit. But let's just do it for that for now. Um, how can we get something to float in here? I mean, well, what we can do, we head into blueprint mode. Uh, we can grab a round balloon. Oh my God, it's huge. How much can I reduce that to? There you go. I can shrink it down to that size. And if we shove them in the water, that's now a pontoon, right? 
Really? So yeah, basically I want to I wanna truss this up fairly strongly. So I think I'll just do triangles underneath like that. And then if we just shove anchors on these on these pontoons, they're definitely not balloons. They're definitely pontoons designed for this. Then I should just be able to go straight up from all of these. Where it gets too tall, I can just do like a cheeky little muscle. And then you can't argue, but say that is a floating bridge. Look, it's floating on the pontoons. So next up, we've got this cable stayed bit. So what we're going to need... I mean, thankfully, there's there's a big rock under there because that is where our pillars are going to come out of. So if I just duplicate these up, then look, you'll see we have two big pillars now, which means all we need to do is grab our cables. And I think we want to do a 45 degree cable like that. So with everything marked up, I can just go to where this cable intersects my a pillar and it looks like yeah they're all on grid which is lovely engineers love working to grids but with all of those in i can then take cable and literally just go up for each one down to each bit of road and then as with the last bridge hopefully the road will just balance on either side so that we end up with that we can then shove our cross beam in probably there and then when we press play oh it seems to work it seems to work look at that look at that Okay, so that is in. And you might be wondering, well, Matt, why why is this bit so high? Why didn't they just pontoon the whole lot? Well, look, these pontoons are quite close together. Trying to get a boat through there, not ideal. Hence, huge cable stayed bit to make a huge gap underneath. Meaning, as two huge cruise ships cross underneath, Matt and Paddy actually make it across in the G-Wagon. And the bridge worked fine. Okay, so with the stress on, how is it? Oh, man, this bridge is like so strong. This has got to be one of the strongest bridges I've ever made. But yeah, let's have a look at this angle and announce that this is the Nordhordland Cable Stayed Bridge. As I mentioned before, it's a cable stayed bridge and a pontoon bridge located in Norway. And it was, it was opened in 1994, quite a new bridge. It carries two lanes of traffic and one pedestrian slash bicycle lane. Uh, or one Matt and Paddy in the G-Wagon. But yeah, not gonna lie, quite quite pleased with how that one turned out. I like that. I like that a lot. Norway, good job on your bilfs. I like it. Anyway, for the final time this video, let's spin up the Wheel of Bridge Tune. And wow, okay, I'm not I'm not entirely sure how to do this one. This one is gonna be a very, very popular bridge. Maybe the most popular bridge I've ever created. Yeah, and that's because this bridge featured in Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, so yeah, this is a California-based bridge. Um, and honestly, I'm not sure how to actually make this one in the game. I guess we start off, it's in a huge gorge. Uh, so here's a gorge I created earlier. And basically, we need to stop our school kids from <laughs> going down like that and getting clattered by a boat. So first things first, we'll just do a straight line like that. <laughs> oh, nearly ran out of breath on that one. And then we got to work out how the frig are we going to do this bridge. There's a big arch in the middle. Okay, so there's six of these on either side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so with them marked out, I think let's grab some pillars. And then we can do what we did before. Just stack these up. All right, so then we know where that meets the ground. So I think from like there-ish, we cut across to the same level. And I think I can do a straight line between those two. But then we want to curve it up, and this goes way up, sort of like that. So I'll then fill that with wood, just so I have something in the right place. I then need to work out how am I actually going to do this. I think I might just try and do it all like with wooden trusses. So basically, if I try and do like the world's smallest wooden truss up here, so we do like that sort of thing, I can then copy that like all the way across. So and hopefully that top bridge, yeah, that collapses. That's good though, because that's that's why the arch is there to support this road on top. Because then if I want to support the road on top, I literally can just do like straight pieces down like that. And then this road is now resting on the arch. And these ones will have to move to muscles like that. And these ones, I mean, oh, we're actually getting to a point where I'd love to go to that node. So it might be a case of doing like mega muscle type thing. So once this is all neatened up, it should 
looks something like that. And then I just copy these for the rest. So I've just got two more to do, basically. Right, and then if I... I'm just going to delete this side and then mirror everything so it's symmetrical. Because with these arches, you do need to be symmetrical. Right, and then hopefully when I press play... Oh, yes, the middle bit does hold. But wow, right. We then need some cross beams. So they go where each of these pillars connect. Okay, so that... Oh, that does actually look good. That does actually look good. Okay, so then the rest of the bridge is basically just continuing this truss. So let's turn the grid back on and then just truss under all of these like that. We can then just do these wooden points down to some anchors like that. And then we have a fairly spectacular looking bridge. All right, and then we end up with that. Oh, man, it actually looks good. Is it strong enough? No. Okay, sorry, kids. We're cutting school meals. You're going to have to lose some weight. All right, and then interestingly, I've just been like lowering the weight a bit and check out this middle arch like it rotates so much sorry kids yeah i think if you just go down to like one polygram that probably should do it i mean i guess the real bridge there probably isn't this much like flexibility and stuff because it's all like one piece rather than like loads of trusses but uh, oh yeah that gets us across so the question is do you recognize this bridge from grand theft auto you know, do you recognize it from real life because uh, if we flash to the real one, this is the Bixby Creek Bridge. And I think it's very similar to another bridge called the Big Creek Bridge, which is actually the one that I tried to build. But yeah, obviously most people watching this have probably played Grand Theft Auto V. And uh, this is the big bridge in there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed these. I had great fun building these, I'm not going to lie. Remember, if you want to nominate any bridges to add to the Wheel of Bridge soon, be sure to wang them in the comments below. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and Grand Theft Bridges. Bye, guys.